Hey everybody, how are you today? I'm doing good. Good, good, good. Come on. Just getting up, letting the dogs out. So I let them out the front instead of the side because Ember is a little overweight. He needs to lose a few pounds. And um, so Jason doesn't want him having any more treats in the morning after he goes to, his, to the bathroom. So if I, his treats are in the laundry room. So if I let him out the laundry room, as soon as he comes in, he stares at the cabinet um, where the treats are. This way, if I let him out front, he's not um, seeing the treats. So that's that. Anyway. What's going on with you guys? Um, so yesterday, oh my God, it was so weird. So yesterday morning, I was awake, but I was kind of lying in bed, you know, those few minutes before you're like, I really want to get up. I don't really want to get up. I could probably sleep for a little bit longer. But anyway, that's what I was doing. I was kind of laying there. And all of a sudden, I start feeling the bed like swaying. And I looked over because so I thought maybe Jason was like shaking his leg or something. You know how when people like, you know, they'll like shake a leg and, you know, and if you're sitting in the same, you know, sofa or you're sitting near them, you know, it, you'll, you'll get the, sh the shaking sensation too. So I looked over and he was, he was stirring, but he was, he was asleep. But I could still feel it. Like I'm lying there and I'm like feeling like the bed like swaying. I'm like. I thought maybe it was me. I thought maybe I was having some kind of like spasm or something. I didn't know. Anyway, I got up, um, got in the shower, came out as soon as I turned on Facebook. One of the my local moms group, um, a girl came on was like, did we just have an earthquake? And I was like, whoa, an earthquake? And then when I looked around a little bit more, the trash guys go by. When I looked around a little bit more and started investigating, it's exactly what it was. It was an earthquake. It actually didn't happen anywhere near here. Where it actually happened, like what they called the epicenter, was actually uh, a few hours away. But I guess what we're feeling is like, I guess like, I don't know if it was the aftershocks or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's what's going on. And my yard is exploded with mushrooms yet again. Um, the lawn guys got rid of them last week. And now they're back again. They're so weird. So yesterday they looked like little golf balls. And today, it looks like something's eating them. Do you see what I mean? Like, look at that, doesn't that? I don't know. They're so weird though. I took some really cool pictures of them yesterday, but they're all along here. And then they're all along there too. But anyway, there's my Charlie. There's my Ander. Beautiful day out though, look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful morning. I actually love mornings. So I know some people aren't morning people, but I am. What I'm not is a night person. I'm not a night person at all. I don't like being tired. When I'm tired, I get cranky. So nighttime for me, I just sit there and wait for bed. That's basically what I do. After around, I don't know, nine o'clock at night, I just want to go to bed. That's all. I just want to, I'm just waiting for bed to happen. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, not a whole lot going on today. It is Monday. Jason has meetings. Uh, the boys are going to do... I don't know what we're going to do for school today. I don't know. We'll see. And that's probably about it. Oh my god. Those mushrooms are about as high as Charlie. He just walked next to him. And, and here's here's a mushroom. Here's Charlie. <laughs> my little tiny man. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm um, going to go get myself some breakfast. Hi. Hey guys. Good morning. It actually is still morning. It's been a long day, I feel like. Like, even Jason got up early. He got up early. He was, it was 10 o'clock. I like, realized that he didn't get up early, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
He actually got up before Jaden even had lunch or anything. I mean, breakfast lunch. or anything. <laughs> lunch. I know. Um, so, uh, what are you guys doing? Anyway, what are you guys working on? We are doing... Whoa. A, we're doing a, um, a algebra practice test. Algebra practice test. So, I mean, if you guys are new to the channel, um, welcome. And so, basically, yeah, we are still schooling. We do homeschool. We've been homeschooling for years. Um, they've been in homeschool longer than they actually went to regular school. Um, I pulled them out of um, public school a long time ago. Um, it just wasn't a good fit for us. So we've been homeschooling. Um, oh, my goodness. And so I guess, like, for all the kids who were going to public school and the pandemic hit, and they had to go to virtual school, I guess it's a big change for them. But for us, we're just going on like we always do. Mm -hmm. And because they're in high school now, um, we didn't feel like, I mean, we take breaks during the year and stuff. So we decided to just keep going do some summer courses before um, 10th grade in the fall. But we used to do a couple days a week. Mm -hmm. Nothing major either. But yeah, they're online. Most of it's done online. They're online taking an algebra quiz just to freshen their brain up, right? Because uh -huh, my brain is all like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look into getting you guys a basketball hoop. I want to get a basketball hoop for outside so you guys can go out and do some basketball stuff. I think we fun. even put it. Oh, over by the garage. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's my nice. garage. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We like to play with the um, little basketballs. Little basketballs. Yeah. Oh. After they finish with school, they go and they play like basketball or something. Because well, Jason's in the office pretty much for the rest of the day, so mm -hmm. yeah, we won't get in there till later on. But anyway, okay. just wanted to say hi to you guys. Hi. And check in on you guys. See what's up. You guys didn't feel the earthquake yesterday, huh? No. No. Yeah. Guys, we'll see through it. Jason didn't think he felt it either, but then when he checked his Fitbit, he actually did wake up at the same time the earthquake hit. It shows oh. that he woke up. So, yeah. I know I was awake. It was kind of weird. Was it like actually like shaking or could he just hear it? it? it the, bed, the bed was just like swaying. I don't want to say vibrating because it wasn't like that. It was just like it was swaying. It was like if you were laying in bed and you were like shaking your leg back and forth. Just that kind of like, like just kind of like boom. It was kind of like this. Okay. But just kind of like a swaying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I felt it. I had no idea what it was though until I woke up and I checked Facebook. And the first thing I saw from one of my local mom's group was like, did we just have an earthquake? And then a bunch of people were like, um, no, I don't think so. Um, no. And then come to find out it was, so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys get back to your, your, how much do you have left on it? Uh, kind of a lot. Okay. All right, I'll let you get back to that. Oh, we're right, we're halfway through. Perfect. <gasps> oh, 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 halfway there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Bye. <laughs> So how'd you do on your math test? Mm, fine. Yeah? Did you pass it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys actually did. They did really, really well. Um, I know that last question. So what was the answer? The answer was the, um, was, uh, was, um, uh, three, 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 three divided by one times three squared to the... <laughs> so anyway there was one question at the very last question that they had a struggle with and so they actually had to guess and they guessed wrong so but um they did really good on the test so i'm very proud you guys feel like you're ready for geometry because sure. that's what's next mm -hmm. i think we're going to continue um reviewing algebra throughout the summer and then Come first day of 10th grade, we'll start geometry. What do you think? I think you're good for it. Yeah. So, yeah. Very proud of you guys. So we're having some lunch. Um, these guys have got some soup. I have a gluten-free ham sandwich with some chips and a cherry Coke. And what are you guys going to have to drink? Um, soup. Look what soup it is. Look at the noodles. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay. Hey everybody, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, it's a little after five. Jason's in meetings. Boys are upstairs. Oh my god, it was so cute guys. So, I've taught the boys how to do their own laundry. They're 16. I know. Some judge Judy's gonna be all like, they should have been doing their laundry before or something stupid like that because we have a lot of judge duties that watch our channel. It's easy to um, to judge people, you know, from in front of a keyboard. And uh, you know, when you see 10, 50 minutes of our lives in a day, but whatever, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, sorry, don't mean to be cranky. Anyway, uh, so I've taught the boys how to do their own laundry, which is really cute because they went upstairs and they were separating the laundry. I'm, 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 I'm a laundry, I don't wanna say like, okay. So laundry is my thing. Okay, I'm very, 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 very picky about my laundry. I separate them into whites, colors, darks. That's it, you know, white, color, dark. And like, I won't wash, like this actually will wash with whites. Um, I won't wash like my jeans and a white t-shirt, you know, because I've done it before, you know, back when, when I was young and learning and I didn't like how it turned my white clothes not so white. Like this shirt right here, the shirt's old. Like I've had this shirt for years, probably like maybe six, seven years. And it still looks like new because I wash it carefully. So I've taught the boys how to separate the laundry and then how to put it in the wash machine, how to put the laundry detergent in, and then how to take it out of the wash machine, give it a little shake and put it in the dryer. And I know some people just throw everything in the wash machine and throw everything in the dryer and call it a day. And it's fine, you can do you, I don't care. I'm not gonna judge you, I'm not a judge of duty. It's just not how I do laundry. And so I'm teaching the boys how I do laundry and they can make up their own mind afterwards. If they don't wanna do it that way, then that's, you know, that, that's on them. That's their clothes, I'm not wearing their clothes. But, you know, I taught them the way that my mom taught me and her mom probably taught her. So, um, but it was so cute because they're in there and they sound like two little birds chirping, you know, because they're discussing it. Um, they're always like, do, 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 You know, if you've ever watched the boys have a conversation, um, you will see that, um, you know, they kind of have a little report, rep, what do they call it, rapport with each other? Anyway, they, they do their thing. Hey guys, come here. Hey, somebody's walking by your house. Who, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but this person is walking by your house. Um, is, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say he's pretty well known, but he's pretty well known. Um, and my dogs bark at him and it's so embarrassing. Anyway, so um, they're in their laundry room and they're like, do, 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 like tripping to one another, two little birds. So cute. And we'll see how their clothes come out. Uh, hopefully they remember to put them in the dryer. I don't know. I'll have to ask them. I don't want to get on them too much. Just let them do their thing. And then I've taught them once they come out of the dryer, you either fold them you know, put them on top of the dryer or you take them and put them directly because the, dry, the the laundry room in their closet is right around the corner. So they can literally take them out of the dryer, go over to their closet, hang their shirts or fold their shorts and put them, you know, where they belong. Um, but we'll see how they decide to handle it. Normally what I do is I take the shirts out of the laundry, fold them, put them on top, and then I go back later. But anyway, blah, 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 laundry, 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 blah, blah, blah not the most exciting topic but it was just really cute like I said I was listening to them um do their thing and it was just it was adorable so I don't know I'm I'm getting a little hungry I don't really want a big dinner Jason like I said Jason's in meetings so I'm probably just gonna make myself some scrambled eggs um I had some tummy issues 
little bit TMI, but I had some tummy issues um, the last couple days. So I'm just trying to eat something really, really light. I don't know if it was, I, we went out to, well, we went to Georgie Mike's for the first time in forever. I got a hot pastrami sandwich. And then the next day, I just didn't feel good. And I don't know if they just didn't put it on gluten-free bread. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But I just was really, really sick afterwards. And it's just taken me a little bit to get my stomach, like, back. You ever have those... You ever have this thing... You ever have this thing where it feels like somebody's tying your intestines in knots? Oh, that was me. That was me after... Um, I had the sub. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> so now I'm trying to take it easy on my stomach. Which is one of the reasons why I went gluten-free in the first place, because I was having that issues when I was eating gluten, though I didn't know it was gluten until my gastroenterologist was like, hey, why don't you try to stop, stop gluten for a little while? Let's see what happens. And I did, and I was like, whoa, okay. I wish I had known about this whole gluten thing when my mom was still alive. Because my mom had the same issues I did. And I'm willing to bet she had a gluten intolerance as well. Willing, willing, willing to bet. My mom was 100% sure she did. Because her symptoms and my symptoms are almost exactly alike. And Jill has the same thing going on. But uh, Jill's too stubborn. She won't, she won't quit gluten. But I do. Because I just am tired of, you know, feeling sick. So I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. And that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna check on the boys. I'm gonna sneak in and just look at their laundry. I'm not gonna say anything to them. I'm just gonna look, see what they did. Don't judge me, okay? Judge Judy's. I know you're out there. You're watching and you're waiting and you're gonna write some nasty comment like that. Mm -hmm. I see it. I delete it, usually delete it. Either I delete it or one of my mods delete it. Um, but we see it. And you know what? Don't care. No. All right, I'm gonna go make my eggs. Maybe I'm hangry. Maybe that's when I need to just make my eggs, okay? I'll see you guys later. So the boys ended up wanting scrambled eggs and ham as well, which is actually, it thrills me that they'll eat scrambled eggs. We have some ham, um, like a little ham steaks, and they actually need to be used in the next couple days or they're going to be bad. So, I decided to make ham steaks with scrambled eggs. And I went upstairs and I told the boys, and they were like, are you gonna make anything for dinner? And normally, because um, I mean, you know, the, the twins are super, super picky. So normally I make them something that they like. I make what I like for me and Jason, and then I make something that they like for them. Um, but they decided that they wanted to have what I'm having, which thrills me because eggs and ham are actually really, really good. Um, they don't normally have scrambled eggs. They do like omelets. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter in my, I've got these, I don't know if you guys know, you guys can see. Why oh, have these ham steaks right here? which the boys love. Um, as long as they're not too salty. Once in a while we'll get ham steaks and they'll be like super salty. And then none of us will eat them because we don't like them too salty. Salt is fine, especially on ham because I mean ham tends to be a little bit salty sometimes. But not too much salt is yuck. Although, <laughs> I do know people who think there is no such thing as too much salt. But, I mean, I don't mind salt, just not, like I said, just not a lot. So I'm putting some butter here, gives them a nice, nice buttery taste. Um, not here. <laughs> Sorry. I made a two, or there was, I made, ended up making two batches of three eggs because I just find it comes out better that way than to try to make one whole big batch of eggs because I've never actually done that. I don't know when the last time that boys had scrambled eggs. They love omelets. They eat omelets all the time. 
but I don't know when the last time they actually had scrambled eggs was. Probably a long time. I actually had them for dinner yesterday. So, but anyway, I'm gonna get this. Um, so I've got my hands cooking there, and then I've got my eggs gonna be cooking right here. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. I like scrambled eggs. And it's, sim it's super simple, and then if we need more, we can always whip up more too, because it's quick and easy. So I'm gonna do that. What do you guys think? Good. I like it? Mm -hmm. How's the ham? Not too salty? No, it's good. Okay. But you, Jay, you, you liking everything? It's been a long time since you guys had scrambled eggs, right? Mm-hmm. You usually have omelets. Yeah. Yeah. But have a little bit of breakfast for dinner once in a while, right? Mm-hmm. Really good. And Ender just sits there and whines the whole entire time like that. Ender, go lay down. Ender. Ender, go lay down. Go on. Pretty good, Jay? How do you like the ham? Is it okay? It's good. Okay, good. So how did laundry go? Good. Good? Jesse didn't do anything. <laughs> what? Jesse didn't do anything. Jesse didn't do anything? You watched her, right? No. Okay, well, Jay didn't put it in the dryer. I didn't do that. Who put it in the washing machine? Both. You both did? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not hard though, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. Separate everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like things separated so that they come out nice and bright, or do you not care? Um. Oh, I, I just can't tell what's supposed to go into like which one. Well, you figure it out. It it takes some time. You know, sometimes I will put things in the whites, even though they're not white. Like the shirt, I would put in the whites because it's light. It's so light and it's bright. I want it to stay bright. Okay. Like, but like your shirt is darker blue, so I put that in the colors. And then his is dark, so I put that in the darks. Okay. Yeah. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey guys. So, it's nighttime. And I don't really know who the boys are. So, let's go up and find them so they can say goodnight. I wonder how they do with their laundry anyway. Is it still in the dryer? Did they get it out? Self dryer. Ah, jeez, oh man, oh, what the heck? Wow. You guys saw that, right? You saw what he just did. He just scared the living bejeebers out of me. What the heck? That wasn't very nice. What have you got to say for yourself? My heart is beating. I'm sorry. Oh my God, you almost made me have a heart attack. You almost killed me. How would you like to be motherless? He did. Hey, I like your pillow. So what's up? I came up here to do the ending because you guys weren't up, up downstairs. Um, yeah. Okay. So, hi. Hi. So, how was your day? It was uh, good. Did you guys finish your laundry? We put it in for the other hour. Yeah. So, we'll what you're going to do tomorrow is just put it on for a few minutes and just let it, like, fluff up a little bit. And then you can put it, you can hang it up in your closet or put it, you know, fold stuff, whatever you're going to do with it. Okay. But, anyway. Um, yeah. That was our day. Mm -hmm. Well, it's about 10 30 so yeah i'm tired i'm tired too what are you reading reading yeah um the, the 1984 book okay um yeah all right you were reading that too yeah yeah okay all right so uh What is this? What happened? Are you deformed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, cool. Oh, he's there you go. Yeah, there you go. Right <laughs> Look at his pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the thumb. Oh, God. <laughs> okay.
three <laughs> It's a really small thumbnail. Uh, okay, so. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Not really. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So make sure you like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you like the channel. Okay. And I uh, will see you later. Bye. Bye. Well, that's better, right? Mm, sure. It's terrific. It's yeet-tastic. Yeet. <laughs> Good night, Jaden. Good night. And uh, and uh, subscribe. This